The Bass was created through a gift of John and Joanne Bass's collection to the city of Miami Beach. And that happened in 1964. So fast forward, we're here collecting contemporary art, exhibiting contemporary art, and educating on contemporary art. We're in a neighborhood that's urban, residential, and we're in the middle of Miami Beach. So it's a place where tourists come together with locals, come together with people who live here part-time in a very urban setting. We have a very rigorous curatorial program. It's really based on a lot of observation and discussions with artists and collectors and professors. And we have been commissioning artists to create works for our exhibitions, such as the Sylvie Fleury Eternity. Now that's outside the Ugo Rondinone Miami Mountain. He likes to say it's the tallest mountain in Miami. We also commissioned Pascal Martin Tayou to create the welcome wall for us. Well, I think part of the challenge of leading a museum is Miami is such a very young city and it's developing so fast that by the time you have a plan to fix a problem, you have to create a new plan. So it's a very fast-paced city where there's no establishment, there are no traditions, and basically we're creating them as we move. The art scene in Miami is developing, changing, risk-taking, exciting, innovative, and young. And that's, I think, really feeds into the institutions. I think the Bass has a very special relationship with Art Basel Miami Beach, because obviously we're neighbors. Of course, we have the Art Basel audience that comes for roughly 10 days, but mainly we have a year-round audience of residents that live here and look to our openings and look to our education programs. Our art is for people who walk in through our doors, but it's also for people who do not intend to walk through our doors. They can bump into it on their way to the supermarket.